Hey, this is the assembly video for the BD21 yoke. Uh, you should have by now received the two boxes, box one, box two. Uh, lay the parts out before you start. Uh, grab your manual and we'll go through step by step. But more importantly, where did the word yoke come from? When you hear the word yoke, you probably think of, of two big old oxen pulling a plow in a mud field and a farm back in the 1800s. That's where it originated. Yoke means to tie two people together. But there's also a word yoke in the apparel industry, which goes across the shoulders. So this unit most likely is being used for across the shoulders to lift up the weights and then walk to a certain distance. So the word yoke. Enough of that. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start the process. Lay the parts out. You're going to want to find parts one and part two to start. Uh, that's the mainframe and the plate storage pegs right here. So here we go, parts one and parts two. You'll notice on part two, it's got like a little sled design. Make sure that's facing toward the outside of the frame. On part two, there's no front or back or left or right. They're all symmetrical. Just make sure on the mainframe, part one, you can have the uh, logo will face out or in. It doesn't matter at this point in time. It will matter on the next step. When putting in the nuts and bolts, make sure you're consistent on the threads will be exposed on the same side. Now, we haven't decided it left or right yet, but it makes sense to have the threads exposed on the side of the logo. The self-locking nut, there's a little gasket of plastic inside there. As you tighten it down, that plastic acts as the cut washer, so it's called self-tightening. It doesn't tighten itself, it just stays tight by itself. Okay, I have the four plate storage pegs in place. I have the threads facing outward to the logos. I got finger tight, so it's okay to go ahead and tighten these down firmly in place now. Okay, the four pegs are nice and tight. You will get a slight rattle noise. That's okay. When the plates are on here, that should go away, but also adds to the cool factor of the noise when you're doing some heavy weights. All right, next is gonna be the plates on the outside. They're gonna hold the uprights. So refer to your manual and find plates number six and uprights number three. Only two plates have the logo. So put the logo on the same side as the Valor Fitness logo on the outside of the mainframe. The blank ones can go on the inside. All right, finger tight. Next is the two uprights. <clears throat> Locate part number three. Okay, you have numbers <clears throat> on both sides. So there's no front or back, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. But these wanna come inside here, fit inside the face plates. This does work better with two people, but I'm showing you it can be done with one person. Use your common sense and logic. Okay, now that this guy's in place, I can tighten down firmly. Okay, I have one mainframe complete. For the sake of safety, let's put him off to the side. or lay it down. <clears throat> a 
while I do the second one. Now, why do we have all the threads facing outward? Because most likely you're going to be inside the yoke doing its exercise. This eliminates the part of maybe your foot will catch some threads. They shouldn't, but for safety reasons, threads face outward. Okay, I have two frames built. Now comes the part of the yoke itself to slide on the main frames. This will be the hardest part of the assembly. Okay, on the main yoke part, there's no front or back. They're both the same, so it doesn't matter which way they go and it does matter. Well, it kind of doesn't, but you want this to face this way. So I will slide the lower part on the uprights first. Could it work if you go this way? It could, but more logic says do it this way. So the trick is to slide this on evenly. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and borrow some props. All right, so now come down here, start him right there. Okay, once you get it started, you can lift up. Okay, so there's the main frame of the yoke. Take the locking pins, slide them in. The little locking part opens up, goes through, and clips down. That keeps that in place. Now, some people have asked, do the red handles face the user or away from the user? It doesn't matter because most likely you do the yoke, you're gonna put it down and then come on this side and go back. So eventually, you're gonna have the red handles face you at certain times and they'll be away from you at a certain time. So it's based on the user. Okay, the last part, this can be used for chin-ups. That goes really any hole you want, but most likely it goes to the top. That also gives the rack stability during the use as far as tilting left to right. Okay, once you have all the pins in place, chin up bars up top, you have two parts that are left. Little J hooks, these will fit inside here. These can help for a bench press function or a squat function off the rack itself. Find the right holes as far as the numbers, slide them in. So here you can do chin ups, the yoke, bench press and squats off the same unit. So here it is in the yoke position. I'd put plates on the storage pegs, come underneath, pick it up and go for a walk. And that is the BD21 yoke. Any questions? Info at or give us a call.